Okay, so there's spa filled. We're gonna put the spa filter back in next. Mine happens to be just a single filter system. So I'm gonna put that down and I'll put my basket on. And then I'm gonna put my top wear on. Now your guys' skimmer could be different than this. Could be a box style skimmer, something like that. So it might look a little different. Hey Michelle, can you do something for me besides looking pretty over there? Flick on the breaker for me. Got it. Give her some juice. Now we're gonna add two ounces of Mineral Clear. Mineral Clear is good, uh, if you, again, if you have real hard water. Um, what this does is it helps protect your spa shelf from getting any mineral deposits and build up. All right, and now that we've added the Mineral Clear, which is this guy here, we want to let that circulate for about 24 hours without adding any of the other chemicals. And then after your 24 hour period is up, go ahead and remove your filter, take that guy out, rinse him off real good, and put him back in where he belongs and then we can proceed on with the rest of the chemicals. Okay, so next we're gonna test our water. You can feel free to use a liquid test kit. I prefer that because I can kind of read the colors a little bit easier. Or you can use test strips. It's okay either way, as long as you're testing that water every couple days. Um, then we'll get a read on the pH and see what we get. If you need to increase the pH, you're gonna use pH up. Okay, this is Haviland Brand Spa Pure pH up. I like this one, it works well. Uh, just a little bit of that until your pH is around 7.4. We'll do the trick. If your pH is high, you're gonna use Spa Down. So this again is a Haviland brand uh, Spa Pure product and it's called Spa Down, pH Down. And just a little bit of that until your pH goes down to about 7.4 and that's good for that. This time it will not drop it in the spa, the whole bottle, right? Okay, <laughs> next. Um, Whatever sanitizer you guys are using, you could be a bromine spa, a chlorine spa, or other. There's a ton of different chemical routines out there. We're just gonna touch upon the basic ones, uh, chlorine and bromine, okay? So if you're a chlorine spa, you're gonna add just a couple teaspoons of granular chlorine to start, and then every other day or daily as needed, if you do need to uh, do it throughout the week, if you're a real heavy spa user, you'll be adding this a little more than your next door neighbor, okay? Now if you're bromine, you're going to take four of these tablets, they're just round little tablets in here, and you're going to pull one out for you guys. And you'll put four of these, blink, 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 right in there, and then you adjust your stem on the brominator, the floating brominator, and, and you'll pop it in, in the water, so. yep, and let him go. So that's your sanitizer. All right, next, <laughs> you've got your, your shock. This is a potassium monoprosulfate, fancy name for shock okay this is a non-chlorine shock used for chlorine and bromine spas it actually helps replenish a bromine tablet if you're a bromine spa um chlorine for chlorine spas it's great to use as a daily as your weekly shock so you just take about a cap of this and put it in once a week this here is our own brand uh the low sea swim and spa clear shock yeah <laughs> and this one is great uh, for shocking once a week after that what i like to do is just pick a day of the week my day happens to be Friday, and I like to add my weekly chemicals. Your weekly chemicals would be your Mineral Clear, also Low Sea Swim and Spa Mineral Clear, once a week. Your Shock, Low Sea Clear Shock, once a week. pH adjusting as needed, chlorinating or brominating as needed. And then shoot, after that, a little bit of uh, nature's care scum away and keep the biofilm down, and then you're pretty good. Enjoy. Yes. Have a party. Happy hot tubbing. That's right. Yeah. And here's that Nature's Care Purezyme I was talking about. This really helps uh, adding it once a week. It keeps what I call ring around the spa from people's body oils and uh, women's makeup, all that kind of stuff that kind of sticks to the side. It keeps that down. And then um, it also helps uh, eliminate or remove the biofilm that starts building up slowly. You know, we just talked earlier about purging that spot. Let's keep that work done and done good and uh, maintain it with this Purezyme. It's a very good product. It's a natural product. It's a little enzyme, kind of like a Pac-Man. Eats up all the oils and digests yes. things. Good stuff. Good stuff. And if we did not touch upon a chemical routine that you guys do use, there's a ton of different ones out there. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we can kind of talk through, you know, the different pro uh, chemical routine that you have. So, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Otherwise, we'll find you.